748 time for Sunday brunch and this morning is Bill O'Donnell the CEO and founder of Blue Ash Farm Spirits good morning thanks for joining us good morning us. Sean hi Tanya how Glad are you guys Oh, you good, know, good, I, good. I'm so happy to hear your chili recipe. This is the perfect mm -hmm. weather for it. It is it definitely is. And you know what's food. so great about this chili recipe? It's it is easy. the easiest. <laughs> it is easy. <laughs> I looked easy. at the recipe. Yeah. yeah, Sean, you can make this. I've seen your chocolate cakes and cream puffs on Instagram. <laughs> Even you can make this. Oh, yeah. And yeah. what's better than, you know, having a morning cocktail to go with it? Blue Ash Farm maple bourbon old-fashioned. I'm, I'm all about and that. And you are a beekeeper, so you yeah. are, this I, is your honey or that you yeah, so that I, I tap my maple trees, which I'm actually getting ready to do. This is maple, maple tapping season okay. right now. For the maple bourbon. I'm a beekeeper, so I have uh, my um, pure honey right from my farm in the four-year age bourbon. We have a straight bourbon, and then ultra premium vodka, ultra premium vodka blended with Wisconsin cherries, no artificial <gasps> flavor, oh, and then good. an incredible 16 botanical gin gin, which we were drinking last night, making bees knees with the honey from the farm too. So oh, lots wow. of good stuff going on here. So let's go and on this whole Sunday and make it chilly. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Okay, good. Well, come on over. Let me show you. So I pre-browned a pound of um, ground beef and some onions. Now mm -hmm. this is, this is how easy this is. We're going to take a 28 can, ounce, uh, ounce can of diced tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Everything goes in 15 ounce tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Two cans of pinto beans, and literally you add the juice, the liquid, okay. everything. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can, I hunt, so you could use ground venison, you can use ground turkey, um, a four ounce can of chopped chilies. Oh, I love chilies. They get two tablespoons of chili powder, mm -hmm. a teaspoon of cumin, mm -hmm. a teaspoon of salt and pepper. You may need more salt and pepper to taste once you make it. And then the secret ingredient, yep. a third of a cup of chocolate chips. <gasps> Get out of town. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Real chili in Milwaukee, uh, and Tom Skilling tells a story because he went to school, uh, or actually worked in Milwaukee. Uh, real chili in Milwaukee, their secret ingredient, chocolate. Yeah, there I've go. got another chocolate chip chili recipe that's really intense. It's not the quick version, and it's so good. I have a buddy who gave it to some friends, and they entered a chili contest, and he called me to say they won. Wow. And I was like, great, what I get? <laughs> and you know, really thank you. With my chili. Yeah, but anyway, you let that cook for, um, you know, cover it and bring to a boil cover, let it simmer for two hours, and it's ready to go. That's the beauty of it. But for you guys, of course, we have a pot all mm. ready to go. Mm, that looks delicious. And, and like I said, you can change it up. You can add, um, instead of pinto beans, you could make it with kidney beans, you could make it with black beans, oh. you can make ground turkey, ground venison, anything you want. You can really doctor this up, but I'm telling you, anybody that's watching tonight, you could might even have all the ingredients in your cupboard. Mm -hmm. You could make this and have it ready for lunch. It's always a little bit better the next day, yep. but I'll tell you, my uh, we we're big chili eaters over here. And when you talk about brunch, what's good about chili is if you want a pot of chili, uh, you know, with some cheese, yep, dollop of sour cream, and what else is one of my favorites? Corn chips. <laughs> corn chips. Yeah, there, there you go. go. You know, with good drizzled over um, eggs, you can make chilaquiles. You can use it for an omelet. There's all kinds of things. And, you know, it's fun. My wife, we got a new puppy yesterday. So my wife's got her girlfriend's coming over to see the new puppy. I'm like, well, I'll serve them their chili. You know, in the, uh, oh, in the bag. In the yeah. Bag. Yeah. Oh. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The portable they, taco. You know, they call if anyone it. doesn't want to come in the house because, you know, for whatever social distancing, you know, we're okay with it. But there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Oh my God. Honestly, it is the best, easiest chili you've ever made. Oh, it Bill, is so simple. Bill, tell us a little bit about Blue Ash Farm because this is you you are like comfort food central between this chili, maple syrup, honey, uh, and and good spirits. Tell us about this. Yeah, well, you know, so my wife and I bought this farm 20 years ago, and we named it Blue Ash Farm in honor of my grandfather's farm in Kentucky. Um, he died young. I never got to know him, but he was a big outdoorsman, you know, a guy like me. And so I named it in honor of him. And I always liked to drink bourbon. Um, my parents were always, you know, making Mimi toddies and things like that. And I just thought, I want to start a bourbon company. And I said it enough times that eventually it led me to some distilling partners. And... We are, have put together these flavor profiles that are unbelievable. And like I said, the honey and the maple syrup comes from my farm. The cherries comes from 
Wisconsin cherries. But I built the cabin up there, which we just converted to a tasting room. So we're going to be inviting people up to the tasting room to taste all the nice. spirits, visit the farm. We're just waiting on licensing on that. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I build wooden canoes. We plant food plots. We hunt. We have an orchard. We have cherry trees. It's just a great kind of home away from home. It's our family haven. Yeah. And, you, actually, and that's I'm just going south, there later today. That's just southwest of Madison, right? Yeah, yeah. It's in the unglaciated um, area, the Driftless. We're right on the Pecatonica River, beautiful Argyle, Wisconsin. It's a yeah. sleepy little town, but great people. And, you know, they, they love it that they've got some spirits now, you know, related to their um, little town. So, so what yeah. are the chances that we might run into your brother, Chris? Like, well, yeah, I'm, I, you know, I'm, he, um, I need to get him up to the farm. My yeah. brother John has been there. I think all of my siblings have been there. My parents have been there. I might have a sister or two that have not been there but it's cozy and nice and uh, i gotta get chris up there but i gotta get him on a live with us one time too yeah, that would be a lot that'd of fun. be fun we yeah my brother john is johnny o clothing line you guys are just, just famous all the way around huh yeah yeah yes. and i have a sister that has a um a fa women's fashion blog and it's funny i had a friend that um from high school she texted me about a month ago and she goes all right this is crazy i just bought three sweaters off your sister's website website way get my husband's wearing johnny o and we're sitting down here <laughs> the blue ash farm spirits and i was go. like it sounds like it's an o'donnell uh the o'donnell do dynasty probably right sitting there sitting there watching ncis la and I, I said that and i added that and you're probably watching ncis la too in yeah. a house that you bought from my sister sally who's a real estate agent oh so. my <laughs> look at it. it's o'donnell all day every day bill hey, thank bill. you for joining us thank you morning. guys take it easy hopefully see you again safe okay. trip up to wisconsin today for more information on blue ash farm or any of the spirits you can check out the website blueashfarm.com.